Some big changes to talk about in Colorado's governor's race. You have even more candidates and parties to choose from. We're also hearing from two of Colorado's Republican Congress members to get their take about what is going on in Washington. Plus, ethics questions are raised involving some Colorado state lawmakers. I'm Ann Trujillo. We have a lot to talk about on Politics Unplugged. A whole lot of people want to be our next governor in 2018. Right now, the primary ballots are far from set. Just this week, we found out Lieutenant Governor Donna Lynn is considering running for the job she would run as a Democrat. Lynn says she'll make a formal decision in the coming weeks, but she's not the only new name that you might see on the ballot. The Unity Party is now a recognized political party here in Colorado, and right now, they have only one candidate in the governor's race. Nicole Brady sat down with their candidate, Bill Hammonds. I'm joined now by Bill Hammonds. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank yes. you for having me. And uh, we've talked to all the governor candidates so far, mm -hmm. but all of them have been with either the Republican or the right. Democratic Party. Uh, so tell us, what is the unity party? That You're the only third party candidate on the ballot so far. That's correct, which is perhaps a little surprising, uh -huh. uh, but we are a centrist uh, third party. Uh, we're now officially recognized by the state of Colorado since uh, the beginning of June, since we uh, acquired enough affiliated voters. Yeah, so how big of a deal is that to get that minor party status? Uh, minor party status is a major deal uh, because now I, I'm, a, uh, I'm the only third party candidate to have, uh, to have successfully petitioned onto the general election ballot. Did it three times, 2008, 2014, 2016, ran mm -hmm. for U.S. Senate uh, yes. twice previously. Uh, but now uh, with our new minor party status, myself and any other unity party candidates do not have to petition onto the ballot. We can, by show of hands at our March assembly, uh, place ourselves, uh, our uh, candidates directly onto the ballot. Wow, so very, very big deal. And yeah. already there are a couple other races in Colorado Correct. with Unity Party candidates. Correct, yeah, there's one other statewide race. Uh, Chris Otwell is running for CU region at large. And uh, then we have Scott Wagner running for U.S. House, uh, excuse me, State House District 43, uh, essentially Helen's Ranch. Excellent. Tell us about the Unity Party platform. Okay. And your platform, I guess, uh, from there. Well, yeah. the Unity Party platform, uh, support balanced budget. The, really, I'll talk about in terms of the federal, mm -hmm. uh, even though I am running for governor. Uh, our uh, national platform, national party platform, mm -hmm. federal term limits, the outlaw of gerrymandering, uh, balanced budget amendments, uh, a lot of perhaps what the reform party supported in the 90s. Okay. Uh, you, you mentioned gerrymandering there. Mm -hmm. Now, you, if, if, if elected governor, you actually would like to do something about uh, the district that are drawn here. Correct. I actually named it number seven. Uh, nothing to do with the uh, you know, uh, channel we're on now. <laughs> uh, but you know, that is a great name for it. Essentially, right now, like in virtually every other state, you have districts that are very divided. You have uh, very red, red districts, very blue mm -hmm. districts. And uh, I think Colorado would be a great idea if, they, if we divided the state into seven districts, each including a uh, small portion of the city of Denver, so that all members of uh, the U.S. House representing Colorado hmm. have to both speak to Denverites and to uh, the rest of uh, Colorado. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We saw in the last presidential election, of course, such mm -hmm. divisiveness between right. the, the main two parties. And, and it almost seemed like it was time maybe for some third parties to start getting oh, noticed. Yes. I, I, tell us about that. Are you hoping to pick up on that momentum? Well, I'm not hoping that yeah. has actually happened. It's happening, yeah. Uh, kind of canary in the coal mine situation. Our voter registrations shot up 53% in the last 39 days of the election. We went from wow. um, maybe 600. I mean, actually, I should roll it back, give you perspective. I think last summer, about this time a year ago, we had maybe 500 voters, um, and then it has shot up and it's continued to, um, and that's how we got minor party status was our, basically our membership has doubled within a year. That's, that's incredible. What would you do as governor? I mean, what makes you, uh, coming from the Unity Party, you, yeah. you, you sell insurance as a, as a job. That's correct. And you've run for Senate in the yeah. past. What qualifies you to be governor? Uh, well, I would not be one uh, member of one of the two parties, yeah. and, uh, you know, supports, um, uh, you know, uh, basically just uh, approach everything with a, a fresh set of eyes and you know, entirely new perspective. Uh, you have an entirely new party, you have an entirely new organization, and I would like to think that the Unity Party would help unify people. Specifically, what do you think Colorado needs in terms? I mean, what are some of the bigger problems you're you're noticing here? Or I, and and I don't like to just ask it in terms mm -hmm. of problems you'd right. fix. Right. Uh, but what does Colorado need to improve and preserve? Okay. Well, I like to think in uh, terms of Colorado's place within uh, the national perspective. Mm -hmm. One of the things I support is, and a lot of people think this is quite radical, and 
Um, I, but I think it needs to be done. Global warming is real. We need to do something about it. It is man-made. And one of the things we can do, we're paying taxes, Colorado's are paying mm -hmm. income taxes. Uh, I come originally from Texas, and uh, like some other states, there's no income tax, and trust me, it is a great thing. And uh, it's great to have no taxes, but you know, unfortunately, that's the world we live in. We uh, need to fund our government with taxes. We should fund it with a carbon tax instead of taxing people, with a state carbon tax, instead of uh, taxing people putting food um, on their family's table, uh, tax their uh, use of energy, and perhaps hmm. they'll be a little more efficient in their use of energy. We, we saw that uh, bill in the legislative session most recently that was shot down uh, that would have uh, allowed Coloradans to vote on a tax for roads. Mm -hmm. uh, what about our roads here? Is there an infrastructure uh, surrounding uh, just the population growth here. Is mm -hmm. there any way that a tax helps pay for our roads, or are you looking at other solutions for that? I think that could cover taxes. Uh, I think that I could cover road construction. Mm -hmm. Two things about Colorado, obviously, I mean, I myself, I moved here 12 years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, like many other Coloradans have moved here, uh, who have moved here re recently. Also, what is not really, uh, our, we are literally at the center of the country, uh, I-25, I-70. Yeah. We get a lot of tourist traffic, we get a lot of transit traffic, um, and uh, one of the things we can do is improve our roads. Uh, definitely, we give our money back and then some, uh, by, and we improve our economy by improving our roads, and I think any money spent on roads would be um, uh, more than paid back. Well, thank you. What else, I mean, what else do we need to know about you? Because it is going to be a little bit of a tougher battle, I would imagine, for you. Um, yep. Not already, already going, Just yeah. not being with a major party. Well, I, uh, so, yeah, what, what do you want to tell people? Well, I think in the, you know, in the long run, that's going to be a, gonna be a yeah. plus. Uh, my website is billisrunning.com. Uh, our national, we are in 37 states. And the Unity Party of America, we are in 37 states. I am both the national and state chairman uh, and the founder. Uh, our national website is unityparty.us. Our relatively new uh, state party website is unitypartycolorado.com. Uh, on there you can find uh, myself and the other candidates, uh, find what we stand for, find out how to contact uh, local party organizers, and uh, basically get involved with the Unity Party. Excellent. Well, great idea for people looking for something else, especially. Uh, Bill Hammonds, good luck to you, and thanks for being here today. Thank you. Anne? Thanks, Nicole. And when we come back, we are hearing from Congressman Ken Buck and Mike Kaufman, so stick around.